In this section of this course, we learned about middleware in great detail. We covered all the basic concepts related to middleware. Now there is only one concept left. So we have learned that when we create a middleware, that middleware gets executed for each and every request. But sometimes we might want to execute some logic conditionally on a request. We might not want to execute that logic every time. We might only want to execute that logic on a request when something special happens. For example, let's say we have a logic and we want to execute that logic on the request if the request header contains is authorized key and if that is authorized is true. Then only that particular logic we want to execute for that particular request. Otherwise, if the request contains the is authorized key, but its value is false, in that case, we might not want to execute that middleware logic. Or if the request header does not contain is authorized key at all, in that case also, we might not want to execute the middleware logic. So in simple words, here we want to create some middlewares and we want to execute that middleware logic on a request if the request satisfies a given condition. So in this lecture, let's learn how we can create such middlewares which executes conditionally. We have seen that in order to create a middleware, we can use this use method. When we use this use method, we also have access to this next request delegate using which we can call next middleware in the request pipeline. Or we can also create a middleware using this run method. When we create a middleware using this run method, that middleware is terminal middleware or short circuit middleware because that middleware cannot call the next middleware in the request pipeline. And apart from this use method and run method, we also have another method called use when. So here, let me go ahead and let me create one more middleware and I'm going to call this middleware middleware 4. And let's call this last middleware as middleware 5. And this middleware 4 should execute conditionally. And when we want to create a middleware, which should execute conditionally on the app object, we can call a method called use when. Now, this use when take two arguments. The first argument is a lambda expression, which should return either true or false. Basically, it should return a Boolean value. So here, let's specify a lambda expression. This lambda expression is going to receive this context object. And now here, we can write a condition which should return a Boolean value. So here, let's say on the context object, we want to check the request object. Okay. And in the request object, we are going to have this query. So this query is basically a dictionary. And in this dictionary, in this query string dictionary, we want to check if it contains a key called is authorized. Okay. And since here we have only one line of statement, we can remove these curly braces and we can also remove these parentheses from here. So this is the first argument. The first argument of use when is a lambda expression which should return a Boolean value. Then let's specify the second argument. So the second argument is basically the middleware function which we want to execute when the first argument returns true. And to specify the middleware function here, here we have access to this app object. Using this, we are going to specify the middleware function. So let's use a set of curly braces. Inside that, we are going to use app.use because using this app.use, we can create a middleware. And this app.use receives a callback function, basically a request delegate function. And this request delegate function receives the context object and the next method right and inside this middleware let's simply write some body in the response using this write async method and there let's say middleware for called okay and since we are using this await keyword here we need to make this function as async okay and if you notice here when i hover over this use you will see that we have an error and this error is because when we don't specify the data types of the parameters in the callback function in the request delegate in that case calling this next method is mandatory but we are not calling the next method here so that's why we have this error if i go ahead and if i call next here that error should be gone okay and here let's use a wait 
and to this next we also need to pass this context so i have already mentioned this point in the previous lectures basically here we are not specifying the data types for these parameters so when we don't specify the data types for these parameters in that case you need to call this next method if we specify the data types here in that case calling this next method is not mandatory it is optional all right so now what will happen here is if in the url we have a query string called is authorized in that case only this middleware will be executed otherwise this middleware will not be executed so here the flow is going to be same as it was in the previous lectures the only thing is that if the request contains the query string is authorized in that case one more middleware function will be executed if it does not contain is authorized in that case that middleware function will not be executed and here let's change this message to middleware 5 called and actually let me copy this line and here also where we are including two line breaks there also i need to put this same message and there let's say middleware 2 called with this let's go ahead and let's run this application so here you see in the response we have middleware 1 called middleware 2 called another custom middleware called middleware 5 called and another custom middleware finished but we don't have middleware 4 called that's because in the request we don't have a query string called is authorized but if we go ahead and if we specify that query string let's say is authorized and for now let's simply set it to true if i press enter now you will see that we also have this message middleware 4 called so this middleware 4 called message we have only when we have this is authorized in the query string if we don't have this is authorized in the query string in that case we don't have that message middleware 4 called so basically that middleware 4 is only getting called when we have is authorized in the query string that means we are calling middleware 4 conditionally now here if i go ahead and if i specify is authorized and if i set it to false and if i press enter in that case also this middleware 4 is getting called even though is authorized is false so what i want is i only want to execute this middleware 4 for a given request if in the query string we have is authorized and its value is true if it is false in that case middleware 4 should not be executed so we can go ahead and we can modify the condition there so currently we are only checking if the query string contains is authorized key there let's add one more condition by using this end operator so here we want to check if is authorized if it is equal to true now here this condition is not going to work because if you remember when we specify the query string there both key and value are read as a string value so here we need to convert this true to a string value instead of using it like a boolean value all right with this let's run this program again okay so when we are running this program for the first time we don't have is authorized in the query string so middleware 4 is not getting executed there let's go ahead and let's specify is authorized and here let's set it to false if i press enter in that case also middleware 4 is not getting executed but if i go ahead and if i change it to true in that case middleware 4 should be executed for this request as you can see for this request middleware 4 has been executed so keep in mind that whenever you want to execute a middleware conditionally you can use use when method this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day